and then upload mm -hmm. it is compressed but when i'm giving a uh, gun zip mm -hmm. like uh, gz gz mm. then it is not changing at all uh, it will not change yes that's what the observation i was uh, i want you to explore that yes exactly compressed file again it will not compress guys yeah in simple yeah okay that's a standard one actually you guys have to observe that okay mm -hmm. and can you try with zz uh, not gun zip actually normal zip is right windows zip is there right can you try with that yeah that that first i did that only then it okay. is compressed ah so directly if you do if you do z uh, gun zip then it will not compress yes that is the only correct yes. correct yeah first zip i tried after mm. that the uh, gun zip i tried mm, mm. so first case it is happening second mm. case no change yes yes okay yeah fine good very good um i really appreciate for that uh, trial okay uh so sure, just one yeah, yeah, yeah as you uh, said right so is it supported different types of other compressions yeah jet uh, yesterday to i've shown not you right tar okay. file. yeah, ah, yeah. Okay. tar is, is not a compression right actually tar is a archive ah, archive actually okay. it's not a compression compression is different archive is different mm -hmm. okay 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 so that is the reason why i'm not talking about the tars here okay okay got it yeah okay but I, even i will try when i get time yeah. Uh -huh. yeah yeah so try that one yeah okay good guys good good start exploring like that and see uh, for if if at all if you want to really learn a good subject please go through the documentation please you'll you'll get to know extra points actually let's say i completed these stages right and you go and start searching the stages in documentation and see whatever the points i discussed in the class whether those points are there or not any extra points you found just let me know i'll try to add that one in the class so that everybody will come to know mostly i try to cover documentation points only 90% i'll try to cover but somewhere that 10% will miss i cannot give any guarantee for that mostly i'll try to cover 90% but somewhere it will try to, it will miss it that you that you try to bring it up in the class that really adds the value to the class okay sure okay yeah please and don't follow any other documentation guys please follow only snowflake documentation do not read any third party blog please you may find mistakes in that blog you please directly read documentation because everything is truth here snowflake itself is giving that one right this documentation that means whatever the information they have given that is 100% true information in the blogs actually based on this their understanding they'll try to write it so do not follow that please no. okay what did we un what did we discuss yesterday named with permanent and uh, temporary visa ah so we understood how to create the named internal stage and we understood how to upload the files into that one and we understood even if you want to forcefully upload the file into the stage location, force equal to true option we need to do. Uh, we need to take actually, sorry, not, not, not force equal to, overwrite equal to true option we need to use. And if at all, if you want to do a little bit of transformations on top of stage data, you can, you can still apply those transformations, okay, before you write the data into the target table. And on, once you create the stage, once you like upload the files into the stage location, if at all, if you want to read the data from that one, better to take the file format. The same file format options you can see in the stage as well. Guys, remember, in the stage also, you can see those properties. But in the file format also, you'll see the same properties. But Siva, which one I have to go here? Remember, if you want to make that particular stage generic, do not change the properties of the stage. If you want to change that stage to specific to CSC file or specific to uh, like uh, uh, JSON or specific to Parquet like that, then change the properties of the stage. Or if you want to make it generic, do not change that one. No, you rely on the uh, like this one only, uh, file format only. Mostly, even in the real time also, we'll rely on the file format only, not on the stage properties. 
because we wanted to make it generic actually to be frank i'm telling you guys to be frank okay we never ever load the data from our local but shiva why are you discussing all these topics then still then because these concepts will helpful for you when you use any etl tool actually any etl tool wants to load the data into the uh, like snowflake table right back end it uses this concept only staging concept only to understand that one if, if at all if you want to backtrack that if something failed in the etl tool then you have to understand all these things actually in one of the project actually this concept helped me a lot to backtrack the uh, issues because back end it is going to generate all these copy commands and put commands on if you don't understand this put command and the uh, like file format options right you will not understand that you cannot backtrack that issue getting my point any etl to every etl tool will load the data into the snowflake via stage only in snowflake we do not have any direct option to load the data into the target table except python we don't have uh, 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 no other etl tool will use the direct loading except python get my point Is clear up to this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we'll understand that once I start explaining the, I mean, uh, ADF, right? In the ADF, I'll try to show whether it is back, how it is using actually in the back end the copy comments and all. You have to understand. Oh. Huh. Huh. Now today, what we will do is we'll try to understand how do how how we can load this data into the target table. Target table is nothing but your snowflake table, I can say. When I say target table, you need to understand it's a snowflake table. Okay, now. So to write this data to the target table, you have to write actually copy into command. I've, I've already explained the data loading concepts, right? Architecture I've shown you, right? One second, file loading, right? Somewhere you have that data loading part, guys. I explained that one, right? Uh, the diagram. One second, let me show you that one. Somewhere I have the diagram, actually. Mm, I missed that one. Okay. Anyway, you guys know that one, right? Data loading, data loading, data loading. One second, one second. One second. If I get it, I'll try to show you. Or we have data loading only. We have to get it. No, I don't see that one here. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the one. Mm -hmm. See, I told you already, if at all, if you want to load the data from your local into Snowflake, actually, you need to write first put command, put command, and you have to uh, like upload that data to any of the stage. It can be internal stage, it can be user stage, it can be table stage. Now you got very good understanding about this diagram. In the very first class, if I explain this diagram, you would have got some confusion, right? Now, did you understand this one easily? See, put command, we are uploading the data to where? where? to the stage location. Now, on top of that one, we will write actually copy into command to load it into target table. The table is actually res resides in Snowflake. Ah, now, for that, we'll try to understand the syntax part first. Okay, in the documentation, they're saying that actually copy into command syntax is this one. See, you simply, even in the real time also, if you don't remember any of the syntax, you just search in the documentation, you try to copy the syntax. And, and you'll see how I'm going to do that. Let's say I'm trying to copy this entire syntax. Okay, copy this one and go to the uh, this one, uh, dbur, and paste it here. Okay, this is not required. I'll try to talk about this one later. And copy options also not required here. 
ఓకే నా విల్ ట్రై టు రీప్లేస్ వన్ బై వన్ కేర్ కాపీ ఇన్ టు నేమ్ స్పేస్ డాట్ టేబుల్ నేమ్ దట్ మీన్స్ కాపీ ఇన్ టు టార్గెట్ టేబుల్ కేర్ వాట్ ఈస్ మై టార్గెట్ టేబుల్ ఈఎంపీ టార్గెట్ టేబుల్ ఐ ఆల్రెడీ క్రియేటెడ్ దాట్ నో లెట్ మీ ఎక్స్పాండ్ దట్ వన్ హియర్ let me expand the data tech db let me expand the uh, test schema let me expand the tables here now try, try to drag and drop this table name here see fully qualified name you you got here fully qualified name is nothing but database name dot schema name dot table name okay copy into this target table from where from where where is your data actually what is the source of your data now stage location right that can be internal stage that can be external stage that can be directly external location external location is nothing but it can be s3 it can be blob it can be gcp bucket you can directly load the data from like external locations as well you can load that data to the external storage from there you can load it otherwise directly from the external location you can load it so since our topic is to understand the internal stages here i'll try to mention actually internal stages okay space what is my my stage actually what is the stage my stage right my stage where is my file actually inside the test location actually inside the test sub folder i have this file now uh, am i loading multiple files no i am loading single file only so i am removing this one am i loading with with the help of pattern no i am not loading that one so what i will do is in place of this internal stage i will simply mention uh, my stage slash test slash em, emp original csv dot zz also you need to mention because inside this stage actually it got compressed right that's what i'm trying to give here okay copy into this target table from this stage location from this storage location using this file format now file format is optional but still you try to give this one okay here if you know file format okay you can give that one r this symbol is r symbol actually r if you want to use the file format options directly you can give that here understand here understand the point here if you know file format already created i'll tell you the use case of both actually if you know file format which is created in your database you try to make use of that one or or use any of the file format option you know file format options right yesterday we have seen right we, we described the file format i have seen the different options right now those options directly you can mention here anything both will try to understand here okay now what i will do is here i'll simply remove all these things here i know the file format name what is my file format name i've taken yesterday csv underscore file underscore format i've taken right now that's what i'm going to take here csv underscore file underscore format that's it you're done your copy comment preparation is done this command happily loads the data into target table now put it into put everything into a single line here and see what is that you're getting here now execute this one execute this first time we are loading currently we do not have any data now let me try to check that one here select a star from emp my database okay database is not pointing to this one now let me try to copy the fully qualified name my worksheet is not pointing to any of the database that is the reason why i am taking fully qualified name here okay now see nothing no data is there as of now now after running this copy command and see the data here uh, see now uh, 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 why it is throwing here error can you guys guess it can you guys guess it huh all the database Oh. Context. context we did not set it up right and that to my stage is pointing like from which database which scheme it has to point actually that's what it is getting confusion here now that is the reason i told you before you go ahead and run anything use role and uh, uh, use this particular uh, database name and schema name where, where did i mention that's okay if you don't mention that one every time you have to use here fully qualified name if you want to go ahead and use that one go ahead and use that one no problem at all okay copy this one and try to put it here dot okay at the rate data tech db test schema dot my stage there this is the one and file format also created under that database only right now i'll try to 
okay let me go with this one without uh, anything here and see what is happening here now file format also does not take this and not authorized it is taking now file format also if you don't want to do all those things right go ahead and point everything here to the data tech db and uh, sorry it is pointing to public that too and i need to point it to test key one now without even mentioning this one it will actually go and point everything to that particular database here file format table name and everything it will point now i can remove happily all these things now that is the use of pointing your uh, worksheet to the database and scheme but my my point is here try to use always fully qualified names only okay now let me execute this one it is saying that updated rows are zero okay now let me go and execute this one here and see what is happening uh, currently it did not load any data why you did not load any data copy into the target folder is, we have deleted instead we have deleted okay let me check that yeah. one let me check that one okay if i want to see the file in stage location what is that we need to do list a list, list command right a list yeah. add the rate ah uh, what is that stage name actually my stage right my underscore mm -hmm. stage i am giving here now let me execute this command ah uh, same thing is there right emp original dot csv dot gz oh okay we did not compress it right we did not compress mm -hmm. it right guys ah uh, that is the reason it is it is actually not loading anything okay so now let me execute this command here now it will load happily no problem now see it has loaded 15 records 15 records now let me go and check the data in the table see 15 records we got see while loading actually in your file you have header part also right but did it load header part also no, no. did it load header part into the target table no no, no. how come it understood how come it has skipped that uh, like first first record in file format we meant exactly <laughs> Exactly, we are telling to Snowflake, "Hey, boss, first line is header. That's what I mentioned in the file format. You please consider that. That is what we are conveying here. So, at the time of selecting the data, also we are like uh, using that one. At the time of loading the data, also we are conveying that information. And observe one thing, one more thing here. At the time of selecting the query. You are representing file format within brackets with arrow symbol here. At the time in the copy command, actually you are giving it in a plain format, normal way. Remember that. That is the difference. I know some intelligent people are there. They'll try to use the same format in the copy command. And they'll, they'll say that say why it is not working. Do not do silly mistake and don't come to me. Please, if you are really facing issues, then come to me. I'll help you out definitely. Don't come to me with the silly mistakes, please. I don't have time. Okay, please write every pinpoint whatever I'm discussing in class. You have to follow. You have to follow. If you are getting error, watch the video one more time and see what command I've written there and try to replicate that one in your uh, uh, worksheet. And try to get resolved that you resolve your your errors by your own. Then only you'll get practice. You'll get you'll feel easy when you when you write these commands in real time. Getting my point? Clear. Okay. Now we got this one. Okay. Shiva. <clears throat> it has loaded automatically all these records. Uh, all these records. I did not mention anywhere the column names here in the command. How come it is loading? How come it is representing that one? It will automatically match the schema, guys. No problem at all. It will automatically match the schema in the back end. No, no problem at all. Okay, first column to first column, second column to second column, third column to third column, it will match it. If you have, let's say, let's say, uh, uh, 
in even in the target table also i have created the call i have mentioned the column names while creating the table name whatever the order i have in the file but shiva in 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 file i am getting in a different order in target table i have columns in a different order how come it will it is going to match in that case what you guys have to do is how do you like insert the data into the target table in sql how do you write the insert command in sql insert into insert into SQL. columns in columns right that's what you are going to mention here insert into is nothing but indirectly you are doing copy into only right but this is a bulk operation copy into is a bulk operation here that's it that is only the difference so what is this bulk operation shiva bunch of records it will try to pick up from the file and it will dump it to the target table that's it not one by one record it will copy bunch of records it will pick up and it will dump it to the target table that's what we call it is a bulk loading but sql actually does it in different way one by one record it will try to insert even if you even if you try to insert 1 million records uh what do you think how how long it will take in snowflake what is your expectation here let's say 1 gb of data is there let's say 10 million records are there to insert that 10 million records into target table what do you think how long it will take general expectation give me casual number here in yeah. in traditional databases you tell me at least okay that's 4 right. minutes in 4 right. minutes 5 minutes yeah. yeah correct okay but in snowflake with a blink with a blink of eye it will it will load it 10 minutes then a blink of eye that's the beauty with snowflake that is the performance uh, difference between the traditional database and the snowflake it actually does the bulk loading in the back end it will not even take one minute it will not even take one minute if you try to load millions of records i'll show you that one i'll prove that one i'll try to insert 1 billion records in cache concept actually i'll show you i'll prove that one even for 1 billion record also it hardly it will take one minute of time that's it to insert the data in, into the target table i'll tell you the mechanism also how it is going to insert okay slowly we'll get into the subject guys don't worry i'll will understand that one no worries ha huh. now here what i'm trying to say is your sql insert into is equivalent to copy into but but one more thing is insert into command we have in snowflake also snowflake also we have but copy into is is actually a bulk operation here how you are mentioning the column names here in the uh, uh, there in the same way you try to mention here employee number comma e name comma let's say i want you to load only three columns guys only three columns then then how do you do how do you do that one only three columns i want you to load not all the columns it will pick first three columns okay if i try to load as it is this command here will it load now before that one i am intentionally truncating my target table guys don't ask me why are you truncating that one i'll tell you the reason okay truncate table my table name is emp table intentionally i am truncating okay i'll tell you the reason also don't worry now let me truncate this ah uh, now let me try to execute this command will it execute now shiva first three columns whatever it, uh, like whatever are there it will try to take directly from the stage location and it will dump it to this these, these three columns is that your understanding but i think before from we can use select dollar 1 dollar 2 exactly okay now what we have to do is here uh we have to write actually select command here we have to write select command here how do you write the select command uh, if at all if you want to select only few columns from the stage what how do you do that how do you write it select dollar 1 ah, no, 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 no. you need to mention dollar 1 comma dollar 2 comma dollar 3 that's it but 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 sometimes we don't know the data how we have in i mean in source right you Which have to take related? the sample records and give that column names here mm -hmm. see you have to make an agreement with the source team boss 
ఆల్వేస్ యూ హ్ టు సెండ్ ది కాలం నుంచి ఓన్లీ ఇన్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ ఆర్డర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు మేక్ అన్ అగ్రిమెంట్ విత్ దమ్ అనే బాండ్ పేపర్ అదర్వైజ్ దిల్ మేక్ ఎ నాయిస్ అగైన్ వన్స్ ఇస్ దాస్ట్ స్టార్ట్ సెండింగ్ ది లైక్ ఇన్ ఏ డిఫరెంట్ ఆర్డర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ ది రిటర్న్ ఈమెయిల్ కన్ఫర్మేషన్ దెన్ యూ ట్రై టు హార్డ్ కోడ్ దట్ వన్ కియర్ we can give in uh, alternate also right like if how how this is like 1 2 3 you have given right can mm-hmm. i can't give 1 5 6 something yeah you can give you can give no problem Just i, I i'm going to it will simply take the uh, blindly it will read the column names from the file and it will dump into these particular respective columns that's it yeah uh, if they give uh, i mean see here the employee column. name is a name job is also designation right job is nothing but a designation right if i give dollar 3 here dollar 2 here in employee name job will be job data will be inserted in job employee name will be inserted here the order is also important here in whatever the way order you are taking the same way you try to take here let's see employee number if i put last year dollar 1 you have to put last year getting my point you are sorry to cut you uh. so when we are mentioning the column names that time only we need to follow the order right when we are not ah, mentioning ah, ah, ah. if you are not names, mentioning it yes yes exactly uh, for suppose in 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 my table in the temp table emp table mm-hmm. uh, the first name is emp name the second name the second column is job the third mm-hmm. name is e name mm-hmm. uh, uh, for suppose we have only three columns in our uh, stage stage table mm-hmm. here the order is like uh, employee number employee name job but mm-hmm. in my temp table i mean emp table employee number job employee name mm. so, so employee name is jumping i mm. mean in middle here it coming middle in mm. stage table in my target table it coming in last mm. when we are not mentioning the column names in the both the scenarios like copy into mm. table name from it will uh, jumble it will swap the columns that's what i'm telling okay, okay you have to mention the order here order is important guys understand that order is important because your stage actually blindly read the columns first column first position whatever it is there it will try to put it in dollar one second position whatever the column you have that you try to put it in dollar two uh, it will try to put it in dollar two it will represent it as a dollar two third column dollar three like that So, so order is very perfor- important here. when we are performing without these columns uh, we need to make sure whatever the order mm. we have order is yes 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 same yes. columns we need to follow in temp i mean yes uh, yes yes uh, can you try that one tomorrow and tell me uh, whether it is actually taking automatically uh, like matching the schema or based on the order it is taking that one can you guys try that one sure sure hmm? okay now good now let me try to execute this command and see intentionally i truncated the table if you want i can truncate the table one more time yes i truncated that one now i am trying to load the data here uh at position 52 this oh from is missing right here sorry sorry, sorry. from is missing right here now let me execute this one here ah huh. the if you get any syntax error we'll go to the see Uh, 15 records it got uh, inserted see copy into target table from this particular stage location using this particular file format correct okay? if this is the case then we can do normal basic conversion all those into select list and we can ah that's what the, that's what i was telling that is the reason i would, i told you yesterday the uh, transformations okay see let's say before you load the data if at all if you want to do uh, like type casting or if at all if you want to change the date column um, formats and all right you do from here only before you load the data into draw layer raw tables you do from here only get my point that is the reason why i explained this concept here yesterday let's say uh, we got the data right here let me go and check the data here yeah first three columns only we got remaining columns we did not get it here that's okay um like you told no transformations like he, here higher date is you know it is of data type date no 
like if you want this to the like times along with the time stamp like how we can do this one like in the loading time before loading only we can convert ah, that ah, you have to write two underscore date here yeah let's say let's say uh, uh the commission column number is one two three four five six seven right okay now what yeah. i will do is i'll just try to mention here dollar seven Let's say uh, uh, dollar seven some null values are there. I don't want to take carry that uh, null values into the target table. That is my raw layer table actually. Mm -hmm. Now NVL of dollar seven comma zero I can take here. Zero. Now here put commission. That's it. Okay. That's it. Okay. Now if at all if you want to use substring of this one uh, second column right, you do that one. Whatever you want, whatever SQL supporting SQL functions are, uh, are there, right? All those SQL functions you can use here. But this is not actually a transformation uh, like uh, place, actually. Uh, generally, we do. Minimal things, I can say. Not all the trans uh, transformations we are, not, uh, we are supposed to do here. Not all the transformations. Minimal transformations, if at all, if you want to do, before you load the data into the your raw layer table, the moment I say raw layer, generally in any of the ETL projects, actually, you will be having raw stage and target tables, right? Uh, your master layer, right? In that way, I'm trying to talk here raw. Raw is nothing but here. my. In my point, it is my target table here. My snowflake table, I can say. Am I confusing you guys here? Am I confusing? No, no. No, right? Ah, okay. Ah, now, before you load the data into the raw layer, actually, you try to do minimal transformation, not, not bigger transformations. Don't try to do like uh, uh, all the business transformations here. No, don't do that here. This is not the right place to do the transformations. You, while loading the data from raw to stage location, then you do that one. Not here. Not with the copy command. Minimal transformations, whatever you want, you can mention here. Now, let me try to truncate the table once again here. I'll tell you why I'm truncating it continuously. Now, let me try to execute this one once one more time. The copy into command. Now, see 15 records it has loaded. Now, let me try to execute this one and see commission column is transformed to zero or not. Null values. Absolutely. Uh, sure. I have a Turned out. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, this copy into is a bulk loading, mm -hmm. and during the process, let's assume this job column as overflow, like which is of uh, ten character, but it went to fifteen, and few of the records are truncated. Is it get truncated, or the entire record get skipped? Your answer, your question will be answered in half an hour. Okay, so that is one. Uh -huh. And second one. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. when we load the data using ETL, mm -hmm. so we have to load the data into stage first meaning mm -hmm, when mm -hmm. we use the etl every time do we need to generate a file or is there any mechanism without generating the file that we can load or every time that we have to mandatorily go with the, some file i mean you mean to say file has to be available in the stage location then only we can do this operation that's what you're asking okay. yes yes so you mean ah, yeah say... file has to be available yeah Wherever you bring the data using ETL, you have to generate a file. Hmm, 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 hmm. See, back and actually, we don't load the data, we don't put the files into stage location using put command. We never do that one. What it does is, what your ETL tool will does in the back end is, this is behind the scene actually, guys. What ETL will do is, it will try to take the data from the let's say from your location, from SFTP location or uh, some other location, it will write put command in the back end and it will uh, upload the data to the stage location. On top of that stage location, it will write actually this copy command. Okay, got it. Meaning once we use CTL, the data directly will be uh, loaded to the target table itself. Correct, okay. correct. See, but, but at high level, at the UI point of view, it will take only file as an input it will load the data directly to the target. You have point of view, it, it, it is only the uh, scene actually. But behind the scene, it is going to perform all these operations. You take any ETL tool in the market which is available. 
this this operation will happen definitely damn sure you take kafka also no problem kafka also does the same thing clear ah oh. okay yes sir uh siva why are you truncating the table every time what is the reason of truncating this one sorry otherwise it will create a duplicate rows mm okay okay let's stick to your point okay what did i do is i have loaded the data into target table right okay now once again i am trying to run this copy command once again once again now let me execute this command did it load any data uh -huh. now once again yes. i'll try to run it did it load any data no no you run it 1000 times also it will not load any data what could be the reason because snowflake is an intelligent okay why why i'm saying it is intelligent is snowflake has already loaded the data into the target table with the same file right if you load the data with the same file the data will be duplicated right data will be duplicated or not that is the reason why it is not allowing you to load it but shiva shiva um how come it is how come it how come it uh, it knows actually it has been loaded already it has been loaded by snowflake how come it it how how come it knows back end it maintains meta data once you load the data into the target table using copy into command it maintains meta data in the back end that meta data lifetime is 64 days until till you cross that 64 days you cannot able to load the same file again and again into the same target table same target table you can load the same file to some other target table but to the same target table you cannot load it understand the point clearly you can load the same file to some other target table not to the same target table once you load it getting my point because back end it maintains meta data the lifetime of that meta data is 64 days that is very important number guys this is one of the interview question how long it is going to maintain meta data once you load the file 64 but shiva how it is going to relate with the truncate command here guys let me truncate the table here let me truncate the table here okay once again i'll try to run the copy into command now see what is happening here understand the behavior here now did it load the data absolutely now when you truncate when you truncate copy command is executing as are expected way now something there is a relation between truncate and copy here you know what is that relation when you truncate the target table actually the truncate will erase the meta data as well along with the target table data it will also erase the meta data in the back end since the meta data is erased here uh, on top of that one if you run copy command it will again load the data into target table shiva how does that meta data looks like can you show us now it's a point to now it's time to understand the uh, about the information schema now what did i tell you when i when i was explaining about the database what did i tell you the database related meta data will be stored in which schema information schema information schema now once i load the data into the target table back and somewhere it is going to maintain that meta data right that meta data directly we cannot able to see but in some view back end they are storing that one okay so how we are able to see that one you know now can you guys guess it in which view uh, we can see that information now can you guys guess it you guys guess it here the answer is in front of you only but 
ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಗೆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಶೋ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಲೋಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಲೋಡ್ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ದಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಬಟ್ ಶಿವ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಕ್ವರಿ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಕ್ವರಿ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಲೈಕ್ ಶೋ ಅಸ್ ಹೌ ಹೌ ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಲುಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ನೌ ವ್ಯೂ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ವರಿ ವಿತ್ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟೈ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಕಮೆಂಡ್ ಓನ್ ರೈಟ್ ನಾವು ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಡ್ರಾಗನ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ವೆರಿ ದಟ್ ಲೋಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ರೈಟ್ ನಾವು ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಡ್ರಾಗನ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಸೆಮಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕೀಬೋರ್ಡ್ ನಾವು ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ 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 ವಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಲೊಕೇಶನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಲೈಕ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಎನ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಫೈಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಲೋಡೆಡ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೋಡೆಡ್ ಎಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಲೋಡೆಡ್ ಟೆನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಸಾರಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಲೋಡೆಡ್ ಡಿಡ್ ವಿ ಡಿಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಎನಿ ಎರರ್ ವೈ ಲೋಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ನೋ ನೋ ಎನಿ ಎರರ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಮಿಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಮೆಟರ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೆಟರ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈಂಟೈನಿಂಗ್ ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಮೆಟರ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಲೋಡ್ ದಿ ಡೇಟಾ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಚರ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ವ್ಯೂ ಬಟ್ ಮೆಟಾ ಡೇಟಾ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಲೊಕೇಶನ್ ದ ಮೆಟಾ ಡೇಟಾ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಐ ಮೇ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಮಿಟೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಶೋ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವರಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕಮಿಟ್ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ಟಿಲ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಹಾ ಎನಿ ಅದರ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಹಾ 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 ಫೈಲ್ ನೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಹ್ಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೈಲ್ ಹ್ಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಡ್ರೈ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಟುಮಾರೋ ಆಂಡ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ದಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಐ ನೋ ದಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ದಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ನೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಡ್ರೈ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಯು ಟು ಟ್ರೈ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಐ ಥಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅಸೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆಸ್ ಹಿ ಸೆಡ್ ನೋ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ देयर ನೋ ಲೈಕ್ Uh, if we load once again file mm-hmm. uh, like it will be duplicate okay you told not to try it okay mm-hmm. but but all together like uh, same records you can have same records whatever are there in the table you can have an extra records also right in the file but it is uh-huh. supposed to load the data right yes now try to understand the behavior tomorrow you try that one and come up with the solution we need you need, See, I'll try to make most of the conclusions. Some of the conclusions you guys also have to make, please. What if the file is incremental? That means if today's file is loaded, tomorrow uh-huh. we'll be getting new file. Append a date format to the file every time. Then it will, not, it will be unique, right?
okay now let me try let me go and understand here what are all the different options are there in the copy command okay file format we understood right uh guys i'm telling you here in place of, oh sorry sir my bad one second my bad uh, in place of the csv file format what i'm telling here is yesterday while creating the file format actually you have taken type equal to csv comma skip underscore uh header uh equal to one did we use these properties in the while creating the uh file format or not um we have used we have altered and we have ah we have created the file format like plain file format and on top of that when we altered and we we like we made this change right now indirectly i'm using that that only right here see file format options also we can mention directly file format name also you can mention see why i'm telling these two points is what if if you don't have access to the file format in real time what if if you don't have access to the file format then you can use the properties right directly can you you can you can happily use them now let me try to execute this one truncate the table once again truncate the table now let once again try to execute this one and see 15 records loaded or not now we go and check the data here so, sorry it select star from mp now what is happening here did it load any uh, header part here no no way you can mention the file fa file format properties also here if you want to simply avoid this one change the this change these properties in the stage itself then you don't need to mention file format also it's not mandatory it's not mandatory in the documentation also they clearly mention file format uh, is kept in uh, brackets what does it, what, what what does it mean actually brackets meaning it's an optional it's an optional what is mandatory from internal stage is mandatory that's it copy into target table is mandatory internal stage is mandatory apart from that all are optional only anything kept in square brackets that is optional guys going forward understand that that's up to you whether you wanted to mention that or leave it okay uh, now shiva this is good shiva now in the uh, syntax actually they mentioned format options right uh, what are all the different format options are there control f the format options here here these are all the format options actually okay uh, format op options means file format options actually okay compression record delimiter field delimiter parse header skip header skip blank lines date format yesterday we understood all these things right we understood or not yes all these properties you can use directly here format options here okay this one also we understood shiva okay files and pattern i'll, I'll try to like uh, execute uh, after some time not now today only but after, after some time i'll try to execute that if time permits okay now next one o what do we have copy options now what is this copy options shiva can you explain that one little bit here clearly these are all the copy options in the copy command optionally you can mention all these properties now someone was mentioning just some time back shiva in target table actually my, let's say in the target table employee employee address is there let's say where is the target table name yeah let's say let's consider in the target table we have an address column address column length is only 100 characters let's see uh, like a uh, 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 worker of 100 let's consider that but from source actually you're getting 110 characters what will happen to the last 10 characters will it really truncate the data or will it accept that data in traditional database we are sure that it will not allow agree agree you have to in traditional database no way it will allow if you if you give size as 100 and uh, 
if, if you are getting the length of 110 characters, no way it will allow. It will simply stop that load. It will simply throw error. Unless until you put varchar of max in SQL Server. Okay, now, sure. If that is the case, actually, now tell me which option will help us here out of all these things. So you want to truncate, uh, Shiva? Mm -hmm. I wanted to truncate the uh, characters, actually. Let's see if I get uh, 110. Last 10 characters, I wanted to truncate it. I want to eliminate it, actually. Only first 100 characters, I wanted to load it into my target table. Then load will not fail. At least load, I'm making sure that load is not failing. Truncate columns equals to true. Exactly. Done. I don't know who asked that question. Now, did I answer your question? Mm, yes. Yes. This is the solution for that. For, for, for every problem, solution is there in Snowflake. Not your personal problems, but data loading problems I'm talking. Like if you use truncate columns equal to true, will it uh, truncate the data which is present? Mm. Mm. Yes, I'll, I'll demonstrate that one. Don't worry. Okay. Now, see, what I'm trying to say here is... Uh, what are all the whatever the issue you are going to get at the time of data loading? For everything, you have a solution. That's what I wanted to prove first. Okay. Now we'll try to understand one by one option here. What we'll do is today we'll try to understand actually this force equal to true command. Where is that force equal to true command? And tomorrow I will try to like uh, demonstrate all other options. Every option we'll try to understand except this one. This is a new option. Recently they uh, they introduced it. Even I don't know what exactly mean by this option. I have to go through the documentation. In your previous batch, it was not there. Now suddenly all of a sudden they introduced this one. Like every time they're improving, right? Uh, they keep doing the changes, guys. Sometimes things will not work out as expected way. Okay. Not, uh, they will not change it completely. They'll keep adding some options. They'll keep removing some of the uh, issues, whatever the people are facing. They'll keep doing those changes, actually. I don't know what exactly this change is. Uh, this addition is file processor. I have to check this one. I have to go through this documentation. I'll go through it. Okay. No problem. Now here, the first option that I wanted to discuss here is force equal to true. Okay. So, uh, uh, I've loaded the data one time. Once again, if I try to load the data into the target table, uh, it's not loading because of the metadata. Okay. Once again, if I try to execute this one, again, it's not loading. But I know that data is actually getting duplicated. But still then I wanted to load the data into target table from the same file. Same file. Then what is that option? What is that option we have to load to do that, uh, to achieve that? Okay, now tell me which option will be helpful for it here. Anyway, I told you already, that is force equal to two. By default, this option is set to false. Now, uh, what I will do is this force equal to true. I'll try to mention here in the copy command at the end. I'll try to mention here force equal to true. That's it. Now let me execute this one here. Let me execute this. And what happened here? Did it load 15 record this time? Yes. Now total how many records are there in my target table here? Select if you want to know the count of the table. How do we know that one? How do we know that? Count of what is the difference between count of star and count of one? So well, suddenly if you ask that question, how do we answer? Star will consider all the records. Count of one Both. will consider the one record. First both are same. Both are same. Both are same? Both are same. Yes. If both are same, then why did they give two, two different comments? No. They could have given only count of star, right? When nulls are there, this will vary. And maybe this is inherent from the lower versions. Like maybe in the lower version, it has... Uh, huh. Now, can can you can you list out at least two two three differences tomorrow? 
count of can, star can you will post it in whatsapp group scan the entire table uh, mm, sorry sorry count of star will scan the entire table entire table count of one also will scan entire table yes but it will go with only one column actual star is the outside ah. can keep anything on the place of star one eight anything uh sorry sorry karen can you come again star is the optional one you we can keep instead of star we can keep one or anything eight anything it will work ha huh, it will work i know i know count of one or count of eight anything will work here okay but but there, there should be a difference right between count of star and count of uh, one or some number there should be some difference right uh, please okay see i am trying to slowly pushing you to the interview for prospect now what i am expecting from you is tomorrow before you join the class at least two to three differences you give me between count of star and count of one this is expected question in interview please i know the answer i don't want to give that one now you will understand the table internal uh, uh, like a uh, uh, scanning uh, uh, options here with that concept you try to get it okay anyway uh, what i will do is let me try to uh, execute this sir previously we have 15 records right now i got 30 records now once again if i try to execute the copy into command i am not diverting you guys here i am trying to like uh, 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 explain the uh, uh, entry questions also here okay 15 more records added here then it became 45 now once again i'm trying to write the execute the copy command and now uh, like executing count of star here now this time it has become 60 now when you use force equal to true option what is happening in the back end hmm. what is happening in the back end data is loading forcefully forcefully it is loading that means simply it is bypassing the meta data hmm. that's what you need to understand here okay force equal to true command will bypass the meta data this is also one of the entry question guys okay hmm. moving on uh ah uh, now let let let's try to understand the purge option also here okay now see i'm loading the data i've loaded the data into the target table once it is loaded into target table do we really need to maintain that file into stage location is it really required is it really required no right i don't need to maintain once it is processed successfully why to maintain that then if you want to even after loading actually still you can see the file here even after loading even after successful load you still you can see the file no one is deleting that now once you start using this particular command purge equal to true then what is happening here it will once it is successfully loaded into target table target table now it has loaded 15 records if you go and check the stage location here do you see the file it's gone it's gone that is the use of purge equal to true okay and now next point uh purge we understood size limit we uh, will uh, understand it i mean this is actually unloading one not uh, this one return fail only i'll discuss tomorrow match by column name also um, i'll discuss now include meta data include meta data this is also new option guys uh, previously it was not there this is also new option i need to explore this one n force length okay we'll try to discuss this one n force length since you guys asked right like i'll try to discuss this one okay now what did i do is if i want to know the column lengths of a table what is the command you use regularly in sql describe describe huh? same thing will work out like this here same thing will work out here describe table table your table name what is your table name actually employee let me execute this one here okay see 
uh let's say my employee name column length i kept it as 10 characters 10 characters now what i will do is in my file where is my file this is my file intentionally i'll try to take my i don't know where is this file located let me check that one yeah this is PySpark file one second let me go and load the employee original file where is that employee original uh snowflake training files csv employee version this is the one right now let me open it in a notepad plus plus okay this file length actually a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q this is what i'm mentioning here okay in the first record let me save it let me save it uh, is it more than 10 characters absolutely absolutely 21 characters are there you can see here you can see here okay uh, uh, 21 characters are there now see how it is going to behave here now well, i've saved it after that what what do i need to do what do i need to do do i need to upload this file into stage location yes yes obviously okay now let me try to upload this one because it's since since we don't have any file in this stage location because it has uh, it has uh, the file is gone file is gone because of the purge operation now this time this time employee name actually at the table level it has only 10 characters length okay worker of 10 now if i try to load it here and what is happening here that's let's try to understand that now see what is that it is saying what is that it is saying is 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 actually too long see by default it will not allow it will behave like your traditional database only but to avoid this kind of error, what is that option we need to use here? What is that option we need to use here? Let's give enter here. Uh, what is that option we have here? Enforce length, right? Enforce length equal to true, I'll try to use here. Okay. See, let, let's try to understand this enforce length. Uh, control F. Okay. Theoretically, first we'll try to understand here. Uh, this is an alternative syntax for the truncate columns, of course. Boolean, if it is true, Copy statement produces an error if the loaded string exceeds a target column length. If it is a false, strings are automatically truncated. Truncated. That means, do I need to make it, uh, if I want to yellow it, if I want to make my execution smoother, do I need to put true or false here? False. False, false here. Now, let me copy this option here. Okay, uh, enforce length equal to false. Let me try to put there here. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me remove this two here. No, uh, okay, let me execute this and see what is happening here. Is Did it load any uh, data? Yes, absolutely. Now, Shiva, can you uh, go and uh, check the table here? Select star from EMP. Now, how it is loading the data? Which char first 10 characters it is truncated or last 10 characters it has truncated? Now, can you just understand that one here? Now, see here, what happened here? King A B C D E F. Then what happened here? What is the conclusion? Truncation. Last character. Last, last extra characters, whatever we have, it got truncated. That. That's it. So every time when we run this query, it is saying updated rows 15. Ah, so is see, it really that, updating? No, no, it's not updating. I know, I know you guys will uh, ask that question. What I will do is I'll execute the same thing in the web interface, my Snowflake web interface. Now let me log in here. See, that is the behavior of the DBR actually. That is the reason it was showing like that. Okay. Uh -huh. That I cannot control. Now let me let me try to execute here and it will try to show properly everything here. Okay. Let me execute this. And see what is happening here. It's not updating. It is giving correct message here. It has filed zero, uh, it has processed zero files because the purge operation, purge we are uh, making it true. Backend because we don't have this file in the backend. Now, if you want, I can upload this file once again. And if you want to understand it one more time here, let's do that. Put that file. And one more time, I'll try to execute this. See here, this file loaded how many rows 15 out of 15 all 15 loaded error limit is one 
um this is the file name actually that's it this is the information it is given it is supposed to display this one but because of the behavior of the debugger it is not displaying that one it is simply saying that updated rows did i answer your question yes sure yeah that is about the options guys okay tomorrow we'll discuss about the other options okay what are all the uh, other options here, huh? here there are two yeah. options no force and enforce length like enforce length is it will truncate and it will update the data force is like uh, the same forcefully operation. same file same file if at all if you want to load uh -huh. that's the difference force is different and force is different enforce length length means you guys know column length forcefully uh -huh. like uh, uh, don't fail that try to adjust that length and try to load it okay that's what and, the uh, tr truncate uh, columns uh, uh, this one and this one purpose this is same one, yeah. purpose is same but here uh, operation is quite opposite here if enforce if you put false here say, okay now what did we do here when you put false here it is allowing actually uh, it is not failing the uh, load right and it is truncating right but in the truncate columns if you put true then it will allow see operation is quite opposite here i mean i mean operation purpose is same but uh, uh, here if you put command false here you have to uh, command that you have to uh, you have it is different opposite if of enforcement is true then what will happen mr uh, enforcement equal to true means it will fail the load okay. if the lens are not matching if enforcement equal to false means then it will try to uh, it will not fail the load it will strip that extra characters like either of the option we can use ah any one of the option you can use yes of course okay tomorrow completely one hour session we'll discuss the other options on entire one hour session i'll discuss about the on error and the uh, this one uh, uh, return failed only only and load and certain files also of course clear that's all for today <clears throat> is there any option to change the length dynamically if the source length is more than target length no no you cannot do that you have to alter it what you have to do is uh, we have done the same similar kind of concept in one of the project you know what did we do uh, every time source source columns actually changing i mean sometimes source columns may be dropped source columns may be added okay as per that we need to add the columns or we need to delete drop the columns in the target uh, table set we handle that kind of scenario in one of the project using procedures but dynamically adding that one also we can achieve it we can definitely achieve that but not directly using procedures we can achieve it like uh, using procedures also how come it knows um, that Uh, huh, you I have to take the size that. of the uh, source and you have to match it to the target you have to take this uh, source size you have to take the target size if they are not match uh, not same yeah, make them equal that's it alter it alter the table okay which are the columns it has been inserted extra mm. it will be added mm. at the end of the like uh for example if you take this table only like last column is like uh, some x y z so what are the new column which is inserted no mm -hmm. in the source file mm -hmm. uh in the target table also will it will it be inserted at the end or at the end uh, only correct 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 any other question
not related to this session so but uh, i need one minute of your time probably yeah let me stop recording the session